Hi, I'm Chris Bernardo. I'm Richard Plakesley. And together we're the Wand Company. And we're here today to ask for £200,000 investment for a 10% stake in our company. Arthur C. Clarke is famous for having said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And the magic market, fantasy market, is huge. Hundreds of millions of people spending billions of pounds each year on magical fantasy products. And we thought, with our combined experience of 40 years of design development, electronics development, that Richard and I would get together and make some really magical products. Our first one is a real magic wand. And this is it. So it looks pretty much as you'd expect for a wizard's wand, but of course a real magic wand should actually do something. And so with this wand, I can, for example, play some music. I can rotate it to turn the volume up. Or the other way to go down again. I can give it a flick to change tracks. I can stop the music. In fact, you can control almost anything in your house. So, for example, I can turn on the TV. So I can fast forward, rewind, pause, turn it off, or even things like ceiling fans and lighting. Um, we started the company last year, and by Christmas we'd sold over 10,000 units. But we feel that with your help, investment and expertise, we could take the wand company to a revenue of about £18 million within three years. Thank you very much. Business partners Chris Bernardo and Richard Blakesley want the Dragons to spot money-making potential in their magical take on the remote control. So if I come right up to it... In return for just a 10% stake, they need £200,000 to grow their business. But what's behind the magic? James Kahn wants to know. And what's the technology in this that turns the TV on? Is it the same as the remote control? It is, actually, and it's a chip that's supplied by one of the largest remote control manufacturers in the world, so we have contacts there, and it's a universal remote control chip. So that is the thing that sends out the codes and learns the codes, because it's a learning remote control. So you can teach it codes of a ceiling fan, or if you had electric curtains, or lights even. This responds by an action. Exactly. Correct. That's the difference. It's a bit like the Wii, really. Yeah, and the, the way we've written the software is it knows which way up it is the whole time, so it doesn't matter which way up it is. If you turn it to the side, as far as it's concerned, now that's the top again. And if you turn it round again, that's still the top, and it still knows which way is up. Right, and what's your next product? Uh, apart from this one that we've shown here. Yeah. Um, well, um, <laughs> I, I, I can't say. But it is a, it, I can't say what our next product is, because... We haven't protected it, and we think it's got very strong patentable. So it's all based around magic? Surpri surprising products. So the, the one company we believe will be a brand that will take, make sort of, in quotes, magical and surprising products. The dragons are clearly absorbed by the product, and Duncan Bannatyne wants more information about the inventors themselves. So tell me about, you, uh, about the two of you, Dan. I mean, I mean, where have you come from? Tell me your, your story, Chris. Um, that I did an engineering degree. From there, I started a company that made an electronic display as a component mm. at that place I met Richard. We developed a remote control, actually, which sold about two million units. This, this thing, you might have seen it about 2002. And what about you, Richard? Are you I was working for the same company that did this up until Christmas. Yep. I'm now working full-time for the Wand Company. Um, let me just go back through your figures, then. You sold 10,000 of these ones. Yeah, just over 10,000, 10,300. What does the product cost you? It was about £10 landed in the UK. And what do you sell it for? £50. You sell it for £50, that's a huge markup. Yeah, well, that's direct to customers. OK, so what are you selling to wholesalers for? Between £28 and £35. £31 was our blended average selling that's price. That's blended average? Yeah. It's a great price on a £10 product. Impressive margins, great product. Chris and Richard are clearly doing well in the den but are yet to receive an offer. Will they now stand up to the scrutiny of retail expert Theo Pafitis? So how many do you really believe you can sell? Are you a calendar year? Have you got a financial year? We're projecting conservatively £1.2 million pounds for this year. How much net profit are you going to make out of £1.2 million? 50%, £0.6 million. Uh, £600,000. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you think that you require my £200,000. 
We don't, we, don't, we don't need the cash to make this worst case forecast we're talking about. That we're saying within your investment, we think we can do, say, £3 million. Well, the worst case is £1.2 million yeah. and make £600,000 profit. That's correct. Purely from this, which you've already developed, you've already got work in, it's, it's there, and you want £200,000 for 10%. Yep. Okay. Have there been any special circumstances you think that have influenced this? So, for instance, the Harry Potter movies? Yeah, there are two more Harry Potter movies coming. One of them is, is this year in November, and then one is the next year in the summer. But actually, it's appealed to people who like the whole wizarding thing. There's, there's huge online games which, like World of Warcraft and Age of Empires. There's other film franchises like Narnia and there's uh, Lord of the Rings. What's the income a quarter? Well, it's been about £100,000 in the last quarter. I expect that to be growing up. A little bit more than that in the next quarter as we add more resellers. We just signed up a couple of distributors. We're just concluding a deal with Target in the US. And one of our distributors wants to put the product into SkyMail. They are putting it in SkyMail. Oh, they are putting it in SkyMail, okay. Yeah, so SkyMail, for example, it's a magazine in the back of the seat of every US internal flight, pretty much, so 600 million people a year sit in front of that. Chris, Richard, we could be here all day. I want your attention for a minute, OK? I'm going to make you an offer for all the money, the £200,000, but I want not 10%, but 30% of the company. If you make £600,000 profit, I'll give you 10% of the equity back. And you'll have 80% of a business making more than £600,000 profit. And we think we can grow that a lot from there. So, so is that a deal, then? Can we ask if anyone else is interested to...? You can if you want to, but you'll be wasting your time. <laughs> Thank you. Duncan Bannatyne is the first dragon to break cover. But the structure of his ratchet deal would still end up with the duo giving away double the equity they were offering. Will any rival dragons now choose to compete? You've currently had your, your offer from Voldemort over there. And now Hagrid's going to come in and play the same game. I'd like to offer you the full amount of money, £200,000, for 25% of the equity of the business. Can we have any uh, share back if we have any particularly good performance then from that point? If I put the whole 200k in and own 25% of the business, that means one thing to you. You've got my attention. Yes. And I'll put quite a lot of work into it because £200,000 is... Quite a lot of money. ..is a quite a lot of money. OK. Would you like me to make you an offer? W would you be interested in joining Duncan or Peter? Well, in fairness to the other two, they've offered you 100% of the money and that, in the den, shows that somebody actually wants to do this for themselves. What offer would you like from me that would make you happy? 20% going down to, say, 10 if we make 1.2 net profit in this year. You mean 600,000 profit? <laughs> no, he means... No, no, I mean, I mean uh, what we think we should be able to do with you guys on board. So you're saying if you do 3 million, yep. you get 10 back. If we can make the business what we think it should be And 1.2 profit? Yeah. I think if you were talking about a sliding scale, getting it down to 12%. Does that work for you? That would work. Thank you. Deborah, James. I think it starts becoming less about the percentages and more about what you're going to get out of it. Your answer to Theo was, in your ideal world, you'd have walked out here with two dragons. If the, the least we can give away is, say, 20 25%, then I think we want two dragons for that, I think. OK, well, I'm going to offer you half the money for 10%. No ratchet. That's not going to offer, is it? Why so, not? Well, Theo's offered the same amount, the same equivalent, and give them a ratchet. They want two dragons. Oh. In their canny move, Deborah Meaden's tactic to secure the deal is to differentiate her offer from those of her rivals. But with just one dragon left, will James Khan now opt to share the bid, or will he want it for himself? I must admit, I do like the product, uh, and I like you guys. Thank you. And I've just been sitting here just listening to yeah. the band 